Hello folks, this is Kinky. Uh, doing a very angrily uh, level of uh, Iron Man World at War, Lansing Air. Uh, this one's part 12, but really, uh, unless you want to watch me just totally, just completely grain through this, uh, I really hate this mission. And as you can see, there's frames per second issues, there's auto aim issues, there's manual targeting with auto aim issues. This, is, this level was designed, yes, it was technically survive for stealth, but then at the end, they pull so many not total BS moments here that it just, oh, so uh, pretty much, like I said. Uh, feel free to skip this video because uh, I'll be honest with you, I just force fought this thing. I spent a good three hours trying to beat this without save states, and it is. I just gave up on it. Like I said, this initial part here isn't that hard. It's after this that's the pain in the butt. And it's all just because of. Just. I. I fail whatever changes they made during that one mission. They said they completely changed the gameplay mechanics there and the, the rest of the game becomes totally unplayable just due to it. And it just... Ugh. This really makes me f feel bummed out. Anyway, basically what you do is... Uh, since not all the POWs could fit in the other copter, you had to pick up some of the stragglers with your helicopter and uh, go from there. Nothing much too fancy here, but like I said, it's pretty much if you make a noise, uh, the tan can pick up on it a lot more than what they normally would, at, meaning that you're supposed to use your bayonets. But then like, from this moment on, it's just pure nightmare. Uh, I mean, it's right when you get to a certain point, it just, I mean, like, right there, they just spawn right out of nowhere on you. You have no place you can go, and uh, pretty much, you're foobarred. Uh, they give you no hand grenades. It's like one of the few situations where it calls for hand grenades. They give you no mortars. So you can't use a mortar on your way out, which could have been helpful here, or bazooka. Yeah, they give you an auto gun that quickly uses up ammo due to the failed auto aim issues that suddenly became apparent. But like I said, I just purely hate this level. And uh, for those wanting a quality playthrough for this particular level, just um, what I recommend is you go someplace else because honestly. Uh, I had too much trouble to the point where it just totally pissed me off. And here's another point right here. Now, you notice that I got to the barrage the first time, and now all of a sudden I just get chewed up by machine gunners, and my auto aim is being junky to the tech high texture graphics. Uh, like I said, I know they fix this in later on versions, but good lord. I'm glad that they addressed it and fixed it. Uh, that's the one downside of this game has been is just too much too much texture packets. Um, but otherwise, it would have been fine. And that a ninja AI balancing, I mean not AI balancing, I mean uh, auto aim nonsense. I got changed. Uh, I said it just totally pissed me off here and I really recommend that if you want an honest playthrough uh, there are plenty of other LPRs that have done this game in particular that I've looked up most of them are European but there are I think some uh, Americans who have done this as well uh, this is one of the more popular games in the series and I did like a lot of the gameplays for this game is just nonsense like this just totally ruined it even then, it just like it's just bad texturing. Um, they 
they definitely put a lot of effort trying to get some detail in, but the detail actually hurt the game more than it helped the game. And I think that's kind of why they went back to basics for uh, the Sergeant's Heroes line, because you notice their graphics are a little bit easier and less uh, tense as they are in World at War. So maybe that could have been a lesson learned there. But, uh, like I said, it, it is, oh, Lord. Um, I, I just, I have nothing but negative on this video. <laughs> I'm glad to have been done with it. No, okay, now watch here. Uh, sudden tan ambush, three, two, one. Boom. You die. Can't do anything about it. You're trapped there. See, the only other guy you can hit is behind that tree, and you can't. You have no grenades or nothing to take out the two gunners. And basically, it's you have to get set up just right, or you have to run just freaking right, and hopefully avoid their machine gun fire, or you just get totally uber pwned at getting to the helicopter. Luckily, the last set of tan are optional. But good lord. Would have been better if the POWs would have auto ran to the helicopter or something, but no. Just that sudden burst right behind it just totally killed this level for level's feel, I think. Like, I mean, just, ugh. Anyway, uh, luckily I do beat the level, but I, I, like I said, I just had pure problems. And this is just, I, I cut it out all the parts before getting to this point, so lucky for you guys, you don't have to see that much fail, but, oh my lord. It's just a pure train wreck on this video. I had to reduce this to 5 frames per second per recording, that's why it's all stuttering, just to give me a little bit more of a chance. But this is Kinky signing out, thank you.